بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم مسٹر ارشد محمود قمر لیکچر سائنس ایجوکیشن ڈپارٹمنٹ آئی ویلکم یو آل ان دس سیشن ان دس سیشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ فیڈ بیک فار اسسمنٹ فیڈ بیک ان اسسمنٹ آر اونلی فیڈ بیک دا آبجیکٹوز آف ٹو ڈیز سیشن آر دٹ آفٹر ٹو ڈیز سیشن یو ول بی ایبل ٹو ڈیفائن اینڈ ایکسپلین فیڈ بیک دین یو ول بی ایبل ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی ٹائپس آف فیڈ بیک دین یو ول بی ایبل ٹو ٹیل ہو آر دا فیڈ بیک پرووائڈرس اینڈ دین دیر ول بی سم کریکٹرسٹکس آف فیڈ بیک ول بی ڈسکسڈ اینڈ دین فنکشنز آف فیڈ بیک الانگ ود دس دیز آر ویری لمٹیڈ ایریاز اینڈ یو ول بی گیون فیڈ بیک آفٹر ورڈس وین یو ول ریکوائر فیڈ بیک دا ٹرم از آفن یوز فار گیونگ کومنٹس ایڈوائز اویلویشن اور پریزنگ ریمارکس آفٹر اسسمنٹ کمپلیشن پروسیس فیڈ بیک از اے کائنڈ آف انفارمیشن ٹو ٹیل دا اسٹوڈینٹس وٹ از ہز اور ہر لیول آف اچیومنٹ وٹ شوڈ بی ڈن ٹو برنگ امپروومنٹس ٹو اچیومنٹس آف ایس ایل اوز against achievement of SLOs. So another definition of feedback, feedback is a process in which the effect or output of an action is returned, that is feedback, to modify the next action. Feedback is an integral part of teaching learning process. It is ongoing process because feed, feedback process is always going on and then feedback is an essential part of learning because you know if we talk about effective learning then there and if feedback is not a process a part of that process then learning will not be effective. It is a dialogue between two people which reflect back how another person sees someone else behavior or performance. For example, there are uh, a person who is performing here, audience are sitting, judges are sitting and those judges tell that what is the level of uh, performance of that particular person. Next we move towards types of feedback. There are many types of feedback. It depends upon the type of feedback functions of the feedback and situation for which feedback is being provided. A list of some type of feedback is evaluative feedback, formative feedback, oral feedback, written feedback, qualitative feedback, quantitative feedback, verbal feedback, positive feedback, negative feedback and then motivational feedback. In all these types, each type is used in the, during the teaching learning process and there is very little and subtle difference between one type of feedback to other type of feedback. We, we can differentiate one type of feedback from the other, other type of the feedback by specifying the objectives and functions of that particular feedback because generally the function, the purpose, the objectives of feedback are round about same. And what is the purpose? To improve the learning of the student, to improve the teaching of the teacher. Yes, when we get feedback from our peers or from our students, whether I am going to teach in a right way, my teaching is effective. So the information or evaluation given by our peers will help us to improve our teaching learning process definitely. So these are the main objective and main uh, goals of the feedback. But specifically, for example, uh, uh, in a situation when we are giving feedback to motivate the students that come in the category of motivational feedback. When I conduct a test and after a test I write negative remarks, very weak, very down, uh, you will be failed if you uh, do, does not improve in certain particular area. This, this is 
a type of negative feedback in the same way positive feedback positive comments are given to the students encouraging and positive remarks okay it's good but it can be improved in this way or that way so that come in the category of positive feedback let's see what is next evaluative feedback now as name uh, depicts evaluation for example you conduct the test after conducting the test we get information those informations are evaluated so after evaluation some comments are given like very good very bad okay that is called evaluative feedback remember that in evaluative feedback only such type of comments are given to the students which show the quality quality of his or her performance so if you want to give further suggestions of improvement that become formative uh, feedback then another type is descriptive in descriptive type of feedback some tips are given to the students how to improve their performance or achievement so they are in descriptions in the form of guidelines in descriptive feedback sometime uh, evaluative feedback and descriptive feedback go side by side but in evaluation only qualitative aspect is provided and again against to those qualitative aspects if we give some other guidelines how to improve this particular area how to make good from bad how to uh, uh, how to improve from very low to very high so that uh, comments and that descriptions when they are given that become descriptive feedback next is effective descriptive feedback asks the students what to do to move their reasoning to next level it is effective purpose of effective feedback is to improve learning by moving students reasoning to the next level you can say effective mean for example if we provide feedback to the students they they should be able to pass class 7 and they should be upgraded to 8th class so we have to tell them the things that those positive points which may help them to get the level of 8th class next is motivational feedback is primarily motivational remember that when we use formative feedback motivational aspect is there when we use evaluative feedback motivational aspect is there when we use descriptive feedback motivational aspect is there and sometimes when we provide oral feedback motivational aspect is there in oral feedback we mostly focus on the behavioral changes for example in the classroom when one student is disturbing other uh, fellows we say uh, to improve his or her behavior and the ultimate goal or objective of that feedback is to maximize the learning uh, level of the students and to make the environment of the teaching learning process more conducive so that learning may become effective so purpose is to encourage and support the learning in motivational uh, remember that purpose of support and encouraging the student is always there in all type of feedback written feedback for example uh, the types evaluative descriptive formative they are somehow related to written feedback when we when we provide written feedback to the students and mostly written feedback is highly valuable in the areas when students are adults education is higher education for example when we evaluate your thesis then we provide written feedback in a way that uh, uh, something is missing you need to improve something in this way or that way student get the same copy 
where some something is written on the uh, when we provide written uh, feedback that may take any form for example motivational feedback is there okay descriptive feedback is there evaluative feedback is there and effective feedback is uh, there so you know that no teacher uses the same style strictly changes the style somewhere there is written very bad composition this means this is a negative type of feedback but some somewhere in your thesis or in your uh, in your manuscript that is given to us for example paper in the form of paper uh, there may be written very good so that is appreciated or positive type of feedback Uh, sometimes there is written that how to improve how to improve your uh, this idea or this piece of writing that is a kind of descriptive feedback so all types of feedbacks go side by side interchangeably wherever they are needed sometimes you know that keeping in view the psychology of the students students are uh, somewhat uh, given um, negative uh, negative comments because some students uh, are uh, get motivation as a result of negative feedback then uh, there are some agents who can provide feedback if you take classroom or if you take particularly area of assessment then teacher who is conducting the assessment is sole responsible personality who will provide feedback okay then another type peer you know that in behavioral terms peer feedback is very effective for example if there are two students one is talking the 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 student who is sitting with him reminds him that don't talk this time because it is very disturbing for all of us so this is a kind of a feedback to so peer is also providing feedback then school administration for example if uh, in a very broader uh, uh, aspect uh, improvement is checked improvement is uh, uh, lacking then school administration can provide feedback to the teachers as well can provide the feedback to the administrators and can provide feedback to the students as well so this is very strict type of uh, uh, feedback given by school administration community members this also come in the uh, behavioral terms then when some students behave in a positive way positive feedback is given for example if some students behave in a very sophisticated way in the home then uh, uh, parents and other Uh, siblings and other relatives say very good what is the name of his school where this person is uh, sent for learning the uh, the credit goes to the school as well when community members provide positive or negative feedback when negative feedback is provided by the community member then there is an uh, alarming situation to control over the behavioral situation of the student the learning themselves how uh, self feedback uh, the self feedback or the feedback provided by the learners themselves is a result of reflective practices is a result of critical thinking for example i am delivering lecture before you and afterwards when i think out that there were such type of mistakes such type of behavioral aspect that i must behave like that there was time management was lacking no this is what i am thinking i am reflecting over my own practice over my own practice then i will try to uh, improve uh, those situation so this is a type of learner feedback by themselves so uh, you can also identify other feedback provider for example in agencies and the organizations organizational the highest level feedback is given if you take the business enterprise then there are authorities who provide feedback and sometime feedback is taken by the customers as well characteristics generally when we say 
only about feedback that is most general. But when we focus upon some specific type of feedback that is very specific because we have to keep the boundaries of that specific type of feedback then focused on the behavioral rather than on the personal. Personal mean that we are going to change the personality rather mostly if behaviors are changed personality automatically changes. Behavioral change and force the aspects to improve the personality. So, more focus is on behavioral uh, aspects. Consider the needs of the receiver okay, while providing the feedback it is uh, the, the need of the receiver must be considered otherwise feedback become negative. For example, if I can advi give advice, if I can give information in a single tip, I must provide that in a single tip rather giving suggestions and advising that person for more than 2 hours that will have negative effect. So, well timed again. Uh, Okay, amounts. Amount mean amount and time go side by side. For example, if I have uh, number of advices which comprise of four pages, that will take more time. But the objective is a single behavioral change. So, time and amount of the feedback should be considered, should be used wisely for effective feedback. Uh, type and for the effectiveness of the system give in the limited amount ok. They, this is different for different uh, people some say that uh, more amount of feedback should be given to get maximum results and some say that limited amount of feedback. When limited amount of feedback is provided that should be precise to the point and hitting the real problem hitting the real problem then that will be more effective. Then well thought out before being offered. For example, uh, if I use formative feedback instead of summative feedback the effect will change and if I provide only evalu evaluative feedback good and bad there will be a problem. Rather, uh, I must you maybe I if I use descriptive feedback that will have more effect. So, uh, uh, per, uh, feedback provider will have to think out uh, before implementing the feedback process. <coughs> then there are functions of feedback three functions formative function, summative function and effective function. Effective function, effective function is basically change in behaviors. Then summative function is that by using different type types of feedback time and again, time and again we again assess whether some improvements has taken place as a result of 6 months teaching learning process and giving feedback or not. And formative feedback is uh, called ongoing feedback that while teaching for 10 minutes. Uh, I, give, I, I give you a question if answer is not short then I will give feedback or I will assist my students I will advise my students that you must uh, do hard work I, I, should, I can provide uh, motivational feedback as well. So, with the uh, process of uh, learning with the process of uh, doing some projects with the process of doing some research continuous provision of the information which will bring improvement that come in the category of formative feedback. Okay, there are uh, you know feedback is integral part of not only teaching learning process, but it is very important part of assessment. For example, I you develop assessment tool first of all you uh, clear your objectives, then you select the content, then you prepare a assessment tool to get some information from the students, then you assess and decide 
after deciding the value after deciding the number of the students you you do some sort of uh, you write some sort of advice you uh, you provide some sort of descriptions that how the whole things can be improved that description may be for yourself or may be for the students or may be for the administrators or may be for the service providers for example you are in class there is electric short for four uh, uh, four days now after four days you feel that students are not going to learn well there are problems for me to teach my students effectively so providing that kind of information and advice that there should be so this is uh, this is the feedback to the service providers that this type of service is missing so you have to provide this type of service again feedback another word is used feed for against feedback in feedback we provide some information after something has been happened for example teaching learning process at the end of the teaching learning process at the end of the assessment at the end of any project at the end of the uh, some part of the research we we find out and give tips and but before starting some ta any type of activity before starting uh, teaching learning process before starting assessment if some information and some useful tips are given to the students that is called feed for that is called now feedback has been uh, given another uh, direction another domain that is called feed for that before starting any sort of activity some type of tips and information should be given primarily uh, those hurdles those anomalies and those deficiencies which have been found by using different feedback processes yani bahut se feedback process ko use kiya usse kuch results aaye to ab to avoid the time to make the students motivated to make uh, to enhance the readiness of the students jab hum advance mein kuch cheeze unko bata dete hain to usko hum naam dete hain feed for both of these areas are researchable and you can conduct research in both areas that what is the effect of feed for feed for uh, uh, on the performance of the students on the learning of the students and even you can compare where feed for is not provided to the students and they are taught whether is there any difference and the type of assessment where feedback is an integral part of that assessment and you know that in our situation most of the teacher don't provide feedback as a result of assessment so what are the by comparing these two situations you can find out some results that if feedback is minus from the process of assessment uh, when there is no feedback in the teaching learning process what will happen and if the feedback is included in the teaching learning process what will be the results so you can compare these two by Uh, selecting uh, control group and experimental group in any situation aziz talba aaj ke is session mein aapne feedback feedback ki types feedback ke functions aur feedback ki definition ke hawale se iske jo ruling hai uske hawale se sikha ummeed hai ki aapko samajh aa gayi hogi allah hafiz